Hey there everybody, Pete here from Comic Book Geezers. Welcome to another edition of the show and my co-host over here as always. Hello everybody, welcome back to another episode of Comic Book Geezers. I am Wild Bill, the co-host of this show and the founding father right here. And we are in the Sea of Tranquility studio today, as you can tell. We had a little, <laughs> little change of scenery for a few episodes, so uh, thanks for joining everybody. We've got kind of a cool show. We've actually, we've wanted to do this episode for a while, and we every now and then we show some of those classic old comic book ads That's what we got from going the on. 60s, 70s, and the 80s. So today, we decided, you know what, that's all we're going to do today. We're going to do a show all on comic book ads. So we'll take uh, this, I pulled all these books from my collection. Pete's been pretty busy, so I started off with 12 cent books. Take a look. And this one I got from Kirk. This is the oldest Nick Fury I have. Look at that chunk in the cover. Woo. Yeah, thanks Kirk. <laughs> I actually did some taping on the inside last night. You're not supposed to tape the covers, but I taped it because it's, it's it's torn all the way down. Oh, wow. Okay. Right yeah. here. So yeah, I don't I care. I didn't notice they did a good job. So, I wasn't going to show this ad, but you'll, there's a bunch of them. The... The weightlifter guy. <laughs> there were so many of them. Because too. that page is ripped, I'll skip and move right along. <laughs> so, uh, some of these I skip because there's, you'll, you'll see them, but I, <laughs> the pillows. Yeah, I, the pillows. Does anybody, did anyone ever get them? I don't, I, I never, I never wanted to order any of this stuff from over when I was a kid, but I mean, I wasn't really reading until the late seventies, you know, but the pillow, I've never seen one. Plastic pillows. I always thought those shirts looked great. Yeah. I think I've seen people when I was younger wearing these Wendy's, shirts, but yeah. I've never seen the pillows. And then the horse. The horse head. <laughs> so. Giant stallion mural. Full color masterpiece. For how much? We've got we to talk about how much. Uh, you tell days. me. A dollar? A dollar. <laughs> all, all four prints for a dollar. Ooh, how much were the shirts going for? Uh, this, is, this book is 1968, right? Yeah. Uh, or sixty-seven. So the T-shirts, two dollars each. Dollar fifty for the pillows. Dollar fifty for the pillows. Wow, and they're plastic. I didn't yeah, plastic, plastic pillows. pillows. We're double, right? That's nineteen sixty-seven uh, or sixty-eight. Sixty-eight. Okay, sixty-eight. So things have changed. <laughs> yeah, I would say. Oh, this is—I thought it was interesting. It's a Cheerios ad, and they compare the energy that you'll get from Cheerios to like the world's fastest flying jet. <laughs> Six twin interior origins. He's got the muscle. Look at that. He's got the the, che the little yeah. cereal this, in his bicep. This, this plane did exist in the sixties. It's called the Valkyrie. Okay, how appropriate. But <laughs> <laughs> I just thought it was cool how they compare Cheerios and the power to the power of thrust from this massive aircraft. <laughs> so you know, I thought that was well, there's like no protein in Cheerios, so it's like it's all know, grain, it's right? All grain. <laughs> but you know, back in the day, I mean, nobody gave a shit about. I'll show you a Strangle splash page for the hell of it. Oh, uh, there you go. <laughs> <laughs> there you go. Uh, what else? Let's see. I had a couple more. Oh, for coin collectors, coin collecting was big back in the '60s. So this is an ad about coin collecting, and then that that you know, this is basically two half page ads. The top half is the coins, and the bottom half is all the like the classified junk. And then... Um, the surprise coin packet. Had another one. I think I just... Okay. Then they had all... They had a lot of these ads back then about if you're too skinny, how to bulk up. <laughs> you know? Because cause let me tell you, you'll look exactly like that. <laughs> I could... Whatever it is they're going to give In today's me. world, I could say I take offense to these, to these <laughs> advertisements. Yeah. But I'm not that kind of American pussy, so... You won't hear me crying about it. Uh, X-ray specs. <laughs> oh, this is what I wanted to show you. Oh, those are amazing. They, they yeah. show their own, their own, when they plug their own publications. That's awesome. Yeah. Very cool. I don't have either one of these books. I don't either. <laughs> let, me, what, which, let me see. Is that Avengers? Yeah, I actually passed on this when we were at Zap. It was a really poor copy. Is it all reprints? I mean, this, I definitely want to get this. The so number the, two Avengers, King Size Annual, I don't know if it's reprints, but... Hey, we had a chance to buy it, but it was it was in shitty condition, so I, I just passed on it. It would have been nice to buy it just to have it, but oh, yeah, yeah. I, I skipped. Um, so that's that one. Why don't you try one, Pete? All right, let's see what we got. And this, and this book that Pete's pulling out is one that I got from him when he bought it a second time, a second which time. happens a lot, right? Which I've done a few times. Hey, 
That's why you got to keep your list handy. I do, but sometimes I don't take them off the list. You That's know? The I think I do, and I don't save it. You know, I'm uh, old school with paper. I don't do a email. Yeah, I do. It's all on a. Right, so you got the little. So you can always check the inside. Yeah, there you go. The all right, so here we go. So here <laughs> is the, of course, the classic Polaris nuclear sub. Only six ninety eight. What a bargain! It's seven feet long. Seven feet long. Nuclear sub. Where are you going to put this? Like where, in your where, yard, in your pool, in your. I mean, what are you going to do with this? It's cardboard. I'm sure. I'm sure it doesn't work. <laughs> I'm sure it gets wet. And, and then, of course, like you got waterlogged. The, the sad sack. Boys sell grit. Look at that guy. That's another thing I wanted to note about myself. <laughs> this grit. It said America's greatest newspaper, and you can make uh, seven dollars a week. Ooh. Every every news there's thirty thousand newspapers, one point two million subscribers. This is all the fine print in here, and you can make seven cents profit per paper. Like this, yeah, I want to get out and work. There's an ad to be a paper boy, but I've never heard of the paper in my life. Have you? No. Grit. Grit. Hold it up there. Show that. He looks like he's from uh, Andy Griffith's show. This yeah. Kid. Now. Uh. You can make one to one to seven dollars a week. Oh, well, you could buy a couple of comics with that, right? Yeah, you could. Oh, well, wait a second. Oh, I, wow! That read the fine print on the Polaris nuclear sub. Holy moly! <laughs> wait a second. First of all, you can get a, a, a ten day free trial. All right, if you send a, your your six ninety eight to Honor House Productions in Lynbrook, New York. But wait, there's more. The features of this thing: over seven feet long, seats two kids, controls that work. Do what? We don't know. Rockets that fire. Yeah. What? It's probably straight up in the air. Real periscope, firing torpedoes, electronically lit instrument panel. Is is there? All right. So is it? If there's anybody out there who has ever owned one of these, we want to hear from you because, <laughs> like, what do you what do you put this in the ocean in the lake? What do you do with this thing? I've never ever seen anything like this in real life. No. Nope. I mean, shoots rockets. I mean, where 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 do I sign? I want one. Holy moly. That's crazy. It probably comes right out of the torpedo tube and falls right on the ground. <laughs> That's probably what happens, man. So, in case you missed it the first time around, here's you your second it. chance for a high school dropouts to get diplomas. Yeah. That's another thing I wanted to mention. There's always high school dropout diploma ads in every... Because why? Because they just assume young people are the ones that read comics. And I have a dropout. Drop if you're reading comics, you've got to be a dropout. It doesn't say much for the, the company, does it? You know? But oh, they'll take money any way they can get it. You know? Oh, man. They make a ton of money this through advertising. This never fly today. Streamline teaching for busy people. Now all of a sudden they're busy. So they're not, they're not just dropouts and deadbeats. They're now also really busy. So busy doing what? We don't know because obviously they're not going to... Reading these books to get their I, GED. I, I <laughs> Holy crap. I don't know. Oh, this is a treasure trove. All right, so here we got... Uh, uh, I focused on the Norman Rockwell ad. Yeah, this was in a lot of them, right? That was... Learn how to draw. Learn how to draw. I, I saw that ad and ignored it, but now I'm drawing later on in life, <laughs> thanks to the show. That was this was in a lot of them. And here's the uh, the uh, the checklist for all the goodies, right? So here you got all those cool shirts once again um, that I always wanted to get. How much were they here? Dollar sixty. You got Doctor Strange, the Hulk, Fantastic Four, all sorts of stuff. <laughs> Man, all right, what else we got here? Let's a see. thousand tricks. Be a musician. Be a magician. For how yeah. much? Oh my God, twenty five cents. Holy cow. I got a magic trick. Electronic computer brain. For that was four, the other one I highlighted. Yeah, four ninety nine four ninety nine for an electronic computer brain. What and look how that? big it is. Yeah. It's bigger than my brain. It's educational. <laughs> it's fun at parties. Show them how big it is. Solves riddles. Even tells fortunes. Wow. Look how big that computer brain is. Look at that. This is 1967. Yes. So, <laughs> I mean, you can just imagine. Clean, foggy eyes. And rockets were still popular then. Rockets, yes. Bike decals. Become a musician. A magician. I keep wanting to say musician. Okay, here we go. We'll pay you $10,000 for this Lincoln penny. Sure you will. <laughs> Join the treasury hunt. <laughs> what else we got $10,000 for a penny. Turn your hands into explosive defense mechanisms. <laughs> now, fear no man, don't be bullied. Physical strength not needed. Judo, kung fu, karate, yawara included. 10 day free trial. Must prove it. <laughs> oh. I'm sold. And you know, you, I mean, you know, a lot of kids, I mean, I guess there were grown ups reading this stuff too, but this is mostly kids reading these things. So, yeah. You know, here we got the, the World War II soldiers, yeah. 200 of them, two armies. Yeah. All right. 
Yeah. Always toy soldiers. Always toy soldiers. U.S. government surplus. Oh my god. All right. So wow. That one was jam packed with them. I might as well leave the glasses on. <laughs> yes. We've got uh, moving right along. I pulled an Iron Man number twenty four. There you go. Holy glare, Batman. There you go. <laughs> you got the window right. Yeah. There. All right. That's your light source. The window. Ah, we're ripping the tape. Oh, we go. It's all right. Old baggy. All right, so let's see here. The NFL football helmets. <laughs> they used to sell these plastic helmets all over the place. My guess is that's how big they were. But yeah, they were tiny. Right. Yeah. And then you got the Marvel. I don't know if those are stickers. The new club. Oh, the Marvel club. Join now. <laughs> oh, yeah. Drink this drink. And and your skinny days. More skinny. Drink a couple of these and ba boom. How ironic that in the sixties all the ads were for skinny people and how to bulk up and now we're today in the twenty first century it's all about fat people getting thin. Yeah. It's the exact opposite. Very funny. This yeah. is before fast food. This this stuff right here, yeah. man. Yeah. Fast food ruined the American waistline. Yeah. <laughs> What else? I don't. This one, I, I never saw that, but I didn't really get into it. The Matchbox. You can buy these little plastic cases to build your Matchbox and stack and store them. Yep. yep. I didn't have that. I actually had the little briefcase, which had the, the blue one, right? The yeah, blue, the little the separate yellow compartments. Yellow yeah. You hold like 36 nice. cars in that yep, thing. I, I had that one. one. All right. Let's see. Oh. <laughs> Here's another career. If you're in a dead end... Why not become a draftsman? <laughs> These things are all over the place. The draftsman ads. Mm, yep. And again, the half-page ads. You know, all the all the classified ads. I call those. Those are the classified pages. You know. Yeah. Grow longer nails. Then you got there's a ten thousand dollar reward. No, hundred thousand dollar reward. But I'm not gonna tell you for what. <laughs> they don't even know. Comic books. I don't know, you can read it. I didn't bring my glasses, but I was more focused on the comic book ad. If adding a solid automotive mechanic skill can add $2,500 to your annual income, that adds up to a flat $100,000 over 30, 40 working years. 40 working years. Sign up now. Another too skinny ad. Yep. That's the second one. <laughs> and ironically, him over here. Both oh, up. yeah. <laughs> Next. Uh, let's see. Last page, I guess. Ah, more toy soldiers. Here but this go. time it's the Colonial War. Yep. Got to switch it up a little bit. Okay. They got them all. And you get 204. I don't know why it's 204. Why isn't it a nice even number like 200? In case you lose four of them $1. and they break. 98. Next is ads from a Silver Surfer. Number 15. Coming up. <laughs> All right. Let's see what we got here. Let's see what Bill has highlighted for us here. Oh, here we go. Jim Driscoll. Did you check inside the first cover page? I was just... I didn't, uh, I famous mind. name prizes. Yeah. <laughs> all the tents and acoustic guitars and radios and all sorts of crap you don't want. Right, Catchers so myths. my first flag. I Jim Driscoll in the race to danger. Oh, Lee Jeans. Yeah. Lee Jeans. Wow. Show that one. And all sorts of <laughs> shots of his the butt. Lee Jeans ad. Yep. How you're a big boy if you wear jeans. That's right. Look at those. <laughs> that's basically what that ad was. Look at those brown Lee Jeans, boy. Woohoo! This is an ad that's telling kids they're grown up. Yes. When you read that, it's all about big boys wear Lee big jeans. Big boys wear Lees. Oh, right. here we go. Now you can finish high school at home. They must be, they must be living in coronavirus too, right back there. I guess. <laughs> you got the guy looks like. No, he, they were staying home dodging the Vietnam War. Yeah, that is that, that is, that is true. That is true. Yeah. <laughs> You got your Peter Parker look-alike there, and uh, how, how much is this? Free, right? Of course. Get the full story. Free! Free! Get your free booklet. Nothing's free, kids. No, There's no. always a catch. There's no free lunches. No, no free anything. Nothing. What else we if got? If it is free, it's crap, and you don't want it. 
<laughs> Look, fellows, you can win your choice of neat prizes free regularly, plus as much as a dollar to six dollars cash every week. Every if you're week. a boy 12 years older, you can be a happy, prosperous grit salesman. Here we go. Uh, the Once gr- again, there's the other, the newer grit ad, right? See, they put more prizes on top of course. Hey, you got a camera. Get the a last ad had a totally different ad about it. Watch. Right? Yes, yep. <laughs> didn't have no prizes. Got to entice them with something, right? Yeah, because the other ad didn't work. <laughs> Grit wasn't making enough sales. The grit was going back to Marvel saying, hey, oh, here we go. What a name for a magazine, Grit. A $1,000 was... look for $27. Look, look, fellas. I got it, I got you it. too can get your uh, fiancé a wonderful engagement ring just for $2. I got to go back to the Grit, the American Greatest Newspaper for a second. When I hear the name Grit, I think like, you know, like um, a Grease Monkeys magazine. You know, somebody that's a mechanic, you know. Yeah. Grit, grit. you know. I don't think newspaper America's good as newspaper. Do you? I don't. Uh, it doesn't. It doesn't. Doesn't ring any bells. So and look I, at this. Oh, the mini bike. The most expensive article you're going to find in any of these. The Fox mini bike. Ninety nine, ninety nine. The upper right, upper corner. There we go. Now those I've seen when I was a kid, but yeah. I don't know if they bought them from the comic. I've oh, no, seen wait, them. Ninety nine fifty. Okay, send Plus. a dollar for a big catalog. Extra bonus. Wow, that's a lot of money for uh, an advertisement back, back then. Back then, right? Hundred dollars. Yeah, yeah, that's the big. That's big bucks, man. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. What else we got? That's the last one. For that's a lot show? of comics. Yeah, that's the last one you highlighted. This one. Yeah, well, of course, you got to show Arnold, right? Because here we got Arnold before anybody knew he was Arnold. Yeah. Like that. When he's probably like nineteen. Yeah, he was young then. Wow. Cool. All right. We'll save that and do that for a future episode. Uh-huh. All right. Now I pulled one. This one's from <laughs> Monsters on the Prowl. I pulled it because it's a 20 cent book. So now we're moving a little further into the future. Oh, some Kirby madness there. So we got... A classic. Charlie Atlas. Oh, that's such a classic. The insult. This is the one where the guy rocks the bully's world at the end. Thanks to Charlie Atlas. And look, he gets the girl too. <laughs> First he gets the sand kicked in his face up here. He sees the results, goes back to the beach, and whoops ass. <laughs> it's a one-page comic book story. Not an advertisement. That's a story. <laughs> more revolutionary toy soldiers. There we go. And more classified ads. I like the bat up here. <laughs> Gotta have one. Only a dollar. It's life it's size. size. Only a dollar. And it's a vampire bat. Straight out of the Bella Lugosi movie, the devil bat. Okay. If you're looking for a career, why not be a conservation officer? There you go. I'll give you a whole page ad. <laughs> nice job. You're outside, but it doesn't really pay. <laughs> and you got to put out the fire. Uh, let's see. What else do we have in here? More classified ads. I skipped a lot of the so-called classified ads because they're all the same. But I, I like little things like the... What is this? Monster Ghost? Isn't this the one with the bank? This is the, the little money bank, right? So, yeah. And it, this slid open and he was in there? Yeah. <laughs> Be taller. Like sure, this why one. not? I go back. How can you pass up an ad for free cash? <laughs> one million. Free. One million cash. Send a self-addressed stamped envelope. We will send you free cash. I'm not even going to read the details on that. <laughs> oh, more Marvel promotion of... Foom Magazine, which I have never seen. I've never seen a copy. I've never seen it. It must go for big bucks. I would assume so, yeah. Never finished high school? No, I just never finished reading this comic. <laughs> never finished high school? No problem. Is that Arnold again? No. No. Uh, you, you, you mean someone they couldn't have found a better picture? I mean, the poor, poor girl. <laughs> I mean, come on. Mm. Are you saying she's homely? <laughs> it's just like, why would you put, like, you know, I mean... It's, put her up there? Yeah, I mean, it's, I'm sure, I don't know, it's just, you couldn't get a better picture of her. Well, like, you do make a great marketing point. Sex sells in this ain't Oh, but it's kids. I mean, yeah, I know, but still. Kids. You're saying she's ugly, I'm with you. No, I'm just saying, <laughs> it's, like, it's a bad camera angle. She obviously has a, you know, very wide... Uh, chin? Chin, it's like, you know... It's, Oh, well, let's see what else you got there. Oh, I picked a Frankenstein book. Uh-huh. Number four. Crack that bad boy open. All right, I'll give you the arms. 
got all sorts of treasures in these things. So. Ah. You got a few in there. Yeah. All right. And I'll work on the next one. Great mic glue issue right yes. here. Yes. All right, so what do we have here? Let's check. Uh, we got, oh, we got a bodybuilding course again because you know everybody wants to be uh, bodybuilders. Oh, here we go. This one. S strategy and tactics. Something we want. Year of the Rat. This was before Dungeons and Dragons. <laughs> Way before Dungeons and Dragons, which was popular in the late seventies. Yeah. Well, board games were big back then, right? That's Jesus. And, and then, but the, this one ain't for little kids. That, that's intense. Oh, exactly. That's yeah, strategy like war and tactics. Game, war game, and then you know the, the it takes uh, like six months to finish the game. The type is microscopic. It's like I don't know how anybody could have even back then how anybody could have read this. <laughs> All right, here we go. How Joe solved his security problem or his key to a successful future by reading the Daily Gazette. Joe's <laughs> lock and key shop. That's how he solved his problem. So this is an actual ad for an actual like locksmith. Yes, to become a locksmith. Jeez. Another trade. Crazy, yeah. How much? Yes, rush me your free opportunities in locksmithing. That's a pretty yeah. hot, uh, hot career choice, right? It's better than drafting. I guess. I don't have the patience to I'll draft. Be, this is clear. You didn't highlight this, but this is classic. Man's right. wigs. <laughs> Up here, yeah. <laughs> Seven... Ninety-five. That ad is actually clear. I actually showed it on another page. There we go. Ah, More Marvel promotion. Marvel promotion right for here, the like great. This. The zombie cometh. Tales, Tales of the zombie. Of the zombie. That's, I remember seeing that and I was like, Whoa. That was in a lot of books. I got to get that. But of course, they were hard to find even back then. Um, how about a career in the outdoors? We'll train you in your spare time for an exciting outdoor career. Another conservation officer. Yes. Park ranger. Might, might as well. I think that's it. Oh, uh, yeah. One more. Yeah, you ad go. For, so, yeah, so uh, another black and white magazine. So the Dracula Lives magazine. Nice ad for that. And, of course, Dracula is saying, we're looking for people who like to draw blood. Very What's cool. the back page? Back and, page. Oh, look who's smiling now. This guy's on a lot of back covers, this ad. All right? You like that? <laughs> Sticking on Vampire. I go with Chillers, number one. There you go. Uh... More war toys. Aha, uh -huh. so where are we on then? That's what, World War II? Tank traps. World War yeah, II. Yeah, this is World War II stuff. Very cool. Um, let's see, I'm moving right along. What else do I have in here? Oh, here's an interesting one. The Marvel Coins. Oh, yeah, yeah. All right, these were bronze, weren't they? Or they were brass or something? Something like that. I almost bought a couple of those. Spider-Man, Hulk, and Conan. I, I think those were the only three they made. Yeah, I think so. I've never seen them. Ever. Interesting how, all, how that it, they picked Conan out of all the... Didn't they also do this as a medallion? Yeah. I think, right? Yeah, I, I may have had one of those. I'm trying to... How much were they? They were like three bucks, I think, right? Two fifty. Two fifty. Two fifty. Two fifty. I can't beat that. Now, I had one other ad in here. Oh! Ah, there you go. This is an interest of mine. You guys want to know who we are? <laughs> I know this word and seven other Japanese words. <laughs> I started this shit. Well, it's not really shit. It's actually a good thing. I started this when I was nine years old. That's all I'm going to say. But because it's a karate ad, I had to show. This one's all over the place. Oh, yeah. It's yeah, everywhere. Yeah. And this guy with that famous little sidekick pose. Yep. Karate. And you got the chillers plug down here again. Mm hmm. And I think that was it for this book. Yeah, I think I... Yep. Staying on Dracula. But we got... Uh, what do we got there? Now, this is the last issue of Dracula, which yep. was a 35-cent book at the time, but yep. double issue was 60 center. And at the time, uh, the hot movie of the day, this was uh, 1979, so coming hot on the heels a couple years after the success of Star Wars, of course, we had Battlestar Galactica. Yes. So here you have an ad for Battlestar Galactica merch, mainly posters and uh, T-shirts. Now yes. quickly show the back page. <laughs> on the back page, <laughs> Star Trek, why not, right? <laughs> Sci-Fi-O-Rama. Yep. Uh, because that's what was big at the time, right? And so. That was a big movie, that Star Trek movie. That was yeah. the first one, I think. Yes. Yeah. Yep. Yeah, that was the first one. Yeah, the motion picture. Interesting how they're like plugging all this sci fi stuff in basically a horror magazine, right? Oh, here we go. The Mego dolls. And yes. I had, I still have most of these. I don't have any of them. Yeah. Mego stuff. All sorts of cool things on this page. So I have, you see, I have Hulk. I got um, Iron Man. I have the Thing. I have the Falcon. And you had to mail away for each of them or did you bought them in the store? 
I'm pretty sure my parents bought them in the store for me. They, they okay. were my Christmas gifts. Yeah, um, I had I had Ooh. most of them, but I only have a handful of them. Left. Who has a yo-yo? Oh yeah, you remember those? Yeah, the Spider-Man and Hulk yo-yo. Look at that. Yo-yos, yo-yos are probably always. I had so many different yo-yos over the years. I remember, all the only company I remember was Duncan. Duncan yo-yos. Yeah, they may, yep, they're, they're, they're all the, like the psychedelic colors and everything yeah. like that. Oh, here we go. This is some Hot Wheels, right? Yep. This is a great ad. Splash page. Yeah, look at that. Double ad. Center page ad, I think. Look at that. How much? Definitely cool. 50 cents for postage and handling. I don't know what you get with that. But Free Super Vet. I guess. Right? 50 cents. And then this four page ad, oh, right? Oh, look at this, yeah. Yeah, you got you got the Marvel subscription page and then you got the Mego dolls again. More Mego stuff from the Micronauts. Okay. Yeah, the Micronauts. Yeah. The Micronauts was the first line of merchandise to compete against the Star Wars line. Yes. Yep. I, I think if you didn't have Star Wars you wouldn't have the Micronauts. And if you look real closely at this Second. picture over here, it almost looks... Who is it? Marie Severin, who drew the Not Brand X stuff? Yes. Yeah, that's what it looks like it's from. Because it's got... The has, parody? Yeah, it's got all the... They all have, like, the goofy faces. Other than Howard the Duck, which is actually a Gene Colan drawing from the... Uh, uh, I forget which issue it is, but they all look like... Yeah, Marie Severin yeah, parodies? That's what it looks like. Ah, oh, here, here <laughs> we go. The, now, what's interesting about this one... Go ahead and show this. I pulled this because here we have a DC character being advertised in, in a marvel comic yeah and it's kryptonite rocks and at first when i was, I was thinking of um pop rocks pop rocks yeah. the candy was this is that no it's this is actually selling rocks <laughs> like real rocks yeah real rocks if you like superman you need there's a, a market rock. for everything what kind of superman fan are you if you don't own a kryptonite exactly rock? right you got well, what it. kind of i'm like that's contradiction there if i really like Su superman why would i want a kryptonite rock because that's going to fuck with them. Yeah. You know what I mean? Oh, this is classic. All right. For first, so first of all, we got an I ad for Robert this, Bell. That's why I pulled that one. All right. right. So I, Robert Bell was one of the uh, most popular in New York area, uh, like, mail order comic book distributors. And I bought a lot of back issues from. Hop Hug New York out in Long Island. Yep. And I never had uh, an alternate pick. He always had to send in a substitute list in case he didn't have all of your primary picks. But I never got a substitute. Everything I wanted, I got. He had, he had plenty of inventory. And also the movie projector. The movie projector and underneath that, The Adventures of Grit Boy. <laughs> the Adventures of Grit Boy and his paper route. Yeah. <laughs> because that's like some, uh, you know, that's some great storytelling right there. It's like, it's, that's, I would want, that's a page turner right there. I wonder if they have any American Grit newspapers on microfiche. Uh. <laughs> Man, what a splash page. Sorry, i got to show this. Yeah, sure you do. Uh, <laughs> look at that. Gene Colan. Man, that's great. Well, they're going out with a bang last issue. I know. You right? know? Might as well. All right, here we go. Speaking of more Superman. You have Superman right there. Shh. Don't tell Lois. Right now. You done with that one? Yep. Okay. Alright, so I went to Daredevil. Alright. 141. Bullseye. 30 cent issue. Everybody needs the Bionic Man, the $6 million man toy. There we go, I had one of those. I did not. Yeah. But I remember the show very well. I used to watch it. And a few six million million dollar man. Oh! More Marvel promotion ads. I I bring you, bring on the bad guys. Oh, that book is great. I had that. I don't. So I've never had any of them. Son of Origins or none of them. Yeah, I had the first, the first couple of them. They're great. Should have held on to them. More grit. That's a classic cover too. That, yeah. The, the bring on the villains. Oh, who who so, did that? Bashima. That's a Romita. Cover. Romita cover. Yeah, that's, that's awesome. That's what I meant to say. Ugh. Um, Slim Jims, Here we beef go. jerky were big back then. You got a little. I think this is a bite into a Slim Jim. Oh yeah. <laughs> This is, I think, another Star Wars promo here. Oh, it's snap into a Slim Jim, not bite into a Slim Jim. What am I talking about? Snap into a Slim Jim. Oh, this one I'm going to... This one I made a joke last night when I read this. Free advice <laughs> to get you to get you ahead. <laughs> now, Nothing does anybody... Advice is free. Free advice... Well, free advice to help you get ahead, but does anyone want advice to get behind? I... <laughs> Yes, I want some free advice to get ahead. No, I want some yeah, free advice as long as it's going to get me behind knows. everybody else. Yeah, who knows? Get ahead with your free advice. Okay, some cool Marvel toys. This is like the little wrist rockets, oh, yeah, yeah. little shooters. Yeah. A little display. There's Robert Bell again. 
How did he not get sued by using the the, the Thor? of Thor, right? Like he's got little wings in the helmet, I guess. He took the wings off. Yeah. Well, you know what? He was selling so much stuff for them. I mean, do you think they really cared all that? Well, much? he was paying them a lot of money probably to run this ad. Yeah. Money talks, right? Yeah. Uh, get your high school ring. <laughs> Don't they do that in school? Why well, pay full price to your school when you can get a yeah a knockoff from yeah, China? That's right. Oh, Crazy go. magazine. Yeah. Because Dr. Doom reads it. He loves it. <laughs> yeah, look at his face. <laughs> Marvel Comics. Pushing Marvel Classics. I have a couple of those. I got that War of the World one. Yeah. Oh, what am I missing here? Something passed you by. Ah. Oh, there we go. That Don't page, touch that dial, folks. There we go. This page is the Marvel subscription page that was the bait that got me to send in my subscriptions when I was in high school. This was the ad that I used. And I don't remember if I clipped it out of a book. I don't remember. I must have. But I don't have that book. Yeah. Whatever. But, uh... All issues mailed flat. And they were. What other way would you mail them? <laughs> Round? Well, I think, I think they're trying to say that they're not rolled up, you know, like a newspaper or like a poster or something. They actually came in a little thin paper bag wrapper, and they stayed flat. I mean, of course, they were flexible, but they did mail them flat. Yeah. And every one I got was flat. Yeah, no creases, no, no. I had a neighbor across the street, this little punk. He stole a couple out of my mailbox, but I wound up replacing them. Oh, that's them. not cool. That wasn't he was a, a that wasn't, Oh, okay, I was going to say, that wasn't But he was too young cool. for me to go over and beat the shit out of him, oh. you know, because I was like 14 and he was like 8. I would have killed him, you know. So I would have been knock, 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 and have well, a I was always, parents. He only he only took two of my books, but you know, I was lucky. He went down to the road. The neighbors they had their rent in the car. He stole their money. He stole like two hundred bucks out of their car. An eight year old kid? Yes, yeah, kid was a prick. Wow, Gerardo, you scumbag! <laughs> <laughs> oh, the giant Frankenstein monster. Yeah, and the skeleton. <clears throat> yep, these were always the seven feet tall. I never saw these either. No. This would be just a giant poster is what it must I look like. I think it's, you know, like the Halloween things you hang up that have yeah. the, uh, you know, that, I think that's what it was. The airplanes that used to fly with the little gas engine? Yep. I think this one's actually a model, though. This is a model of B-24. Let me get the hostess ad. Yeah, this one's with Captain America. No, this one's actually for the him and Spider-Man with Ricochet. This is the toy. Yeah. I think Shot it's, the it's car. On, on the page before, I think, is where the, uh, the hostess ad is. Like the oh, the hostess with... Um, Keep going. One more. Boom. This one with the Hulk. Right? Hostess yep. for Pie Ad? Yep. <laughs> Alright. So we got another Daredevil. But now we're going from... Pete's going to show you... This one I showed was a 30 cent book. He's going to show you a 35 cent book. Mine was 141 and that's... Uh... Ah, of course you got Energized Spider-Man and the Green Goblin. Boy, don't those look terrific. That's huh? the one with the little string you can climb up. Yeah. And the little motorized pulley system. Yep. And the, pulley and the spidey system. copter, right? Yep. Hey, what's you need oh, my God. God. For? What? Oh, I, I, I did that for a reason. <laughs> Frank Robbins' art. I, I took one look and I was like, whoa, wait a second. That's going to be worse than any ad that's It looks like he already broke his leg, <laughs> right? I keep it. Where do you see some of the facial expressions on the next couple oh, pages? Oh, Here you go. Oh, this is... Go ahead, show. <laughs> oh, how did you? How did you not show this in our Frank Robbins rant? I didn't. Oh, I just discovered it last God. night. <laughs> that is books, the man. worst depiction of Daredevil I've ever seen. Holy mo! What issue is this? Oh, one fifty six, right? Or one fifty five? Holy mo! Wow. Keep you know what? In a box? <laughs> There's people who defend Frank Robbins. I, anybody who defends Frank Robbins, you got to take a look at this. This is like the worst I have ever seen. Oh my God. Oh. Jesus, I gotta get back on track. You can enjoy this. I gotta get back on track. All right, Micronauts. Here we go. <laughs> Micronauts. Yeah. You, you can digress. Go ahead. I man. know, but holy, oh, <laughs> Jesus! Oh, it, I was. I saw what you were talking about. Look at that. This is Matt Murdock. Come on, give me a break. Where, down there. Yeah, right there. Oh God. <laughs> I'm sorry. I just. I never liked Frank Robbins' art. Never, ever, ever. Okay, so this is cool. Yeah. Right. Pushing some of the books. Yeah, I had a, I had the Silver Surfer one. Show yeah, I had, I had the Silver Surfer book. I mean, way back when. And I actually have that. Hulk, see the Hulk cover? I have that on a T-shirt. Oh, that, yeah, that's cool. the the transformation. Yep. Yeah. They yeah, also awesome. recreated that in one ninety issue uh, three ninety three, but that's issue number one, right, from the very first Hulk. That, yeah. that pose. Yeah. 
Okay, what are you looking at now? More I'm Frank Robbins? I'm looking at this atrocious atrocities. <laughs> Frank Robbins art. Oh my god. Jesus. Are you oh, ah, this splash page. This. Mr. Doom. This, this was a common ad yeah. that ran for several months. Milk Duds. Yeah. <laughs> Splash page centerfold ad. Yeah, Dr. that's, that's a great depiction of Doom. And that looks like, uh, I'm trying to think of it. It might be Romita art. I don't know. I'm not sure. And oh, then, look at this. Yeah. More subscription and the, Howard the Duck. Yeah, well, they promo. did the high anxiety uh, cover. Yep. Mel Brooks movie. Yep. And then Pizzazz. Pizzazz. And I and this was the ad, I think, because I had Pizzazz magazine. I got 12 issues and it was horrible. No good, huh? We, went, uh, we actually went looking for uh, Yeah, it was. It's, it's so kitty. It was so cheesy. I threw him out. Speaking of cheesy. Dun, dun, dun. Yes, that's supposed to be Mac Murdock. Holy cow. All right. He looks like the, the town drunk. Jeez. Next. Oh, Jesus. Is there more? Yes, there are. Yeah, then you got the classified ads. That's it. Yeah. So here you got the, the power builder, right? The solo remember, flex thing. Remember that thing? Yeah. $18, $19. You got more of these kind of Camelot. Strong. Learn how to throw a football. Woo. That, and then show the back page ad. Oh, oh my God. God. All right. Sorry. I got to show more of this. Uh -oh. This is supposed to be the beast that Daredevil is fighting. And then you got to look at Hercules over there. My God. Oh. No wonder why. Jesus. No wonder why. And, and Frank Miller finally takes over. Satisfy your meat tooth. Your meat tooth. Very and they also did that one with a werewolf. They did, they did, yeah, exactly. But anyway, I took that and then showed this the Spider Man. Yep, and then Spider Man, Batman, the, and Superman, and right? And then you got to show the back ad for Legos. There you go. That was a popular ad. This was on the back of a lot of yeah, covers, Lego, that yeah. ad. Exactly. This is when they started making some really interesting Legos after a while. God. Iron Man 106. Frank Robbins you like that? Seen. Iron Man 106. <laughs> I'm speechless. <laughs> you like that? I, you know, he's bad, but man, that is <laughs> awful. Oh. It proves it. <laughs> Jesus. Okay, um, I had to show this one. Oh, yeah. <laughs> sea monkeys? How many of us wanted to buy those things? But they're not really monkeys. They're like little pieces of shit that float around in the water. Looks they're, like not even, they're not even alive, right? Yeah, it looks like algae. It looks like little pieces of sawdust floating around in the water. It's like, I don't know. But they, they were these were big and they were always in comic books. That's the only place yeah. you ever saw the ads for sea monkeys was in this. And then here you got some more Marvel stuff over here, Marvel plugs. Ah, here we go. More meat tooth, but with the werewolf. That's right. <laughs> and more grit. So you have more grit, more classifies. Yeah. Oh. You can order shark teeth. Authentic shark teeth. We don't know what you do with them, but hey, you can order them. Why not? They're sharp. Why would you want them? Yeah. Oh, He's going to make some weapons. Great splash page. Look at that. Splash page. Dun, dun, dun. George Tuska. Yep. I think John, John Byrne on the layouts. Ah. Fist full of fun. <laughs> the Marvel's utility belt. <laughs> and the John Travolta posters over here. Though. There you go. He's all the, he was all the rage at the time. You know, Grease, Saturday Night Fever. They also had the Bionic Woman in there. Yep. Right there. Farrah. Farrah. Ooh, Farrah. She was, oh, I love Farrah. She was hot. Farrah's what you call my type. <laughs> Hell yeah. Uh, let's see here. Oh, here more pizzazz, more pizzazz and candy bar. Look at how young Stan was back then, huh? Yeah. They made him look younger than that. Yeah. Clark Bar, Zagnut. Remember Zagnuts? Strong arms. Zagnut bars were great. They're just yeah. like a Clark Bar with a little coconut on the outside. Yeah. I haven't seen one of those in a long peanut time. I never saw the peanut butter log. I never <laughs> saw the crunch. I never saw them. All I saw was Clark and Zagnut. Yeah. Two out of six, I know. Yeah. Good art in that book. Yeah, this is awesome. Way better than what we were just looking at in that Daredevil. Woo. There you go. <clears throat> what a shit show. <laughs> yeah, Tusco was so good. So good. Did we, we never did a tribute to Tusco, did we? Not, yeah, we did. Well, he, he he showed up in our favorite and Iron least Man, favorite Iron Man. <laughs> yeah, but we should do a tribute to him in total. Works. Well, we got some of the artists we're getting around. We're going to do Rich Bucklers next. Yep. So slow down. We got, we, we'll get there. And yeah, a Bruce Jenner lookalike. Or was that Bruce Jenner? This? Yeah. Bruce Jenner didn't have a body like this. Right, yeah, I didn't think so. The face looks like That's just a regular dude. Yeah. 
And oh, then baby, there's baby doll, which I don't understand. Boys Patty are Prayer? reading comics. Patty Prayer. <laughs> but usually boys read comics, not girls. I know, right? This should be like on the back of like Millie the Model. Yeah. Not an Iron Man. Not an Iron Man. But yeah. they must have paid a lot of money, otherwise it's not it's there, you know. And that was what I thought was a strange marketing ploy. Putting a doll ad on the back of a not saying that Iron Man is strictly a boys comic, but most boys I mean, come on, they, more boys read comics than girls. Yeah. yeah, I mean Jesus, that makes no sense whatsoever. Yeah. Maybe I'll why not start running panty ads too while you're at hey, it. Why not? Come on. All right, 1979. So this is a fantasy masterpieces a reprint of the Silver Surfer. Issue so we're in about 1980 now. Yeah, 79. Yep. Um, so here, uh, right off the bat, we've got uh, a little cross man. Is a lot of fun. So again, this a BB is gun ad geared towards boys. Kids. Yeah. And you don't see BB gun ads, you know? Right. So kind of again, going back to that little Patty prayers. I mean. Oh, here we go. Gunfighting do's and don'ts. Hubba Bubba. Remember Hubba, Hubba Bubba? Bubba? Which was a competitor with Bubble Yum. Bubble yep. Yum was the best gum at yep. the time back then. Got to have the uh, got to have the hat too, you know, make it all look uh, authentic. Oh, here we go. More Migos Super Dolls, right? And utility belts. All sorts of fun stuff. Because got to have them all. Collect them all, kids. <laughs> what else we got here? Is there any more? I don't see any more posters. Maybe they show off the back. Oh, hold on. More poster spectaculars. Oh. And, well, four ninety nine. Woo, wait a Scott second. Scott Bayo. $499 Kawasaki Minis. Well, all right. You're gonna, Kawasaki again, Motorcycle for 500 again, bucks. But again, geared towards teenagers, right? So, yeah. get that. You got all the posters. Who else you got here? You got Scott Bayo and uh, Those Robbie. Those are getting more expensive, the too. Oh, the Great Pharaoh poster. <laughs> and, you know, I'm sorry, but we live in a day everything is like high definition, all this kind of stuff. When you can't even make out any of the pictures on here because they're so damn blurry, you know you got a problem. I'm sure it was a little clearer back then, but this book is in great shape. So look at that. Look at how blurry those pictures are. They could have been blurry because of these two ink pages resting against each other over the eons. Yeah, that's possible. That's another thing. But they don't... It also probably got distorted when they reproduced it yeah. into a... Maybe it wasn't camera-ready artwork. Oh, but wait a second, because we need it on our wall. We need to have a giant poster of... Hervé Villachez, otherwise known as Tattoo from Tattoo, Fantasy Tattoo Island. Island. Boss, boss, get played. I, I can't even know if he had a boss why, him. Why would anybody want that on their wall? Well, he was the he was kind of funny on that show. He was, but I mean, you'd want to poke I mean, Farah, Hervé Villachez, Scott Bay. I mean, come on. It's, I don't know. It's kind of weird. <laughs> well, he was a, pretty much a womanizer. Oh, guy. he totally was. He was, <laughs> he, was drunk. he was a womanizer and a drunk, apparently. A drunk? Yeah. Vroom. Vroom. And then the Legos on the back. Mm-hmm. Lego ads. So, hey, you want to check this one out? Show them this one. Grimm's Ghost Stories. From Key. Key Publishing. Gold Key. Make money, get prizes. Sell seeds. Hey, what? Gold not? Key. Published in Poughkeepsie, New York. I was surprised when I read that. I was like, damn. Uh, jewelers. Mark Jewelers. Now, that Mark Jewelers... Is not like other Mark Jeweler books because this is paper, not like classy thick paper stock. You ever right. see them with the thick paper stock? Yep. For the clip outs to make an ad so you can fill it out. Respond. Now, I, this book, okay, what do we got here? Okay, <laughs> it's the grit. And we already talked about this, so you can move on. All right. <laughs> make one to six weekly in 1972, Paper Boy. Selling Grit, America's greatest magazine newspaper. Ah, here we go. Okay. Kids, get this official Joe Namath electronic football game. So remember, this is 1972. 72, so electronic football game. This is even, this is pre... A couple uh, years, no, it's a couple years after the Jets won the Super Bowl. Right, but I'm saying this is even before, like, Atari and all that Oh, yeah, kind of this stuff. is so an electronic this is, football game. You plug it in and the guys just vibrate yeah. all around the table. They, they go every which way. They don't, there's no... Formations. I just, remember that. Wow. Yeah. It just they, they just go and they go all over. Yeah. Eleven ninety five. I had, I had this game and there was a handle with a metal bar under the table. Yep. With a magnet. So one guy had a magnet and you could try and control him through the rest of them would all vibrate. <laughs> it was a total mayhem. They were trying. They were trying. And the football was a little magnet too. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Groovy, colorful cloth patches, sixty-nine cents each. Look, because it's you know we're a little, we little a few years after Flower Power, but hey, you got the Playboy Bunny up there, right? Yeah, so, you know, and, good logo uh, to have. Yeah, is that it? Yeah, that's pretty much it. And then what was that other page here? What's this? Oh, they're stuck in. They're sticking together here. What do we got? What's that page? This one. Here. 
That one. Yeah, that oh, did you just show it. Okay. Show that one. So we got one more. Can you get? There we there go. There you go. It's for you in '72. Look at that Mother Goose calendar. Because you know, got to have one, right? Mother Goose. <laughs> now we're really reaching. I know. But remember, kids, sell seeds, get those prizes. <laughs> <laughs> now I'm gonna go way back in time. This is the oldest comic in my collection. This is from 1953. And I got this from my friend Tara, my PlayStation friend. So this book, this book came from Ohio somewhere. She, her husband bought some books at a flea market or, or a yard state sale, sale or something, something like that. that. Yeah, and he didn't want. He was he bought a whole box of shit, but he's in the baseball cards. This book has no ads, <laughs> but it's delicate. I just want it has ads for its own company. You know, like you can buy back issues. And the only other advertisement is in on the front page here. But this is a very delicate book. Free pens. Get them while they're hot. <laughs> but yeah. So that's uh, it for this installment on comic book ads. That was fun, actually. There's a lot of... <laughs> you saw a lot of good artwork. And I got a little present for you. Speaking of artwork. Ooh. I got another unveiling. I did some drawing. Had a blooper a few months ago about Pappy Potts, so I figured I might as well draw <laughs> Pappy Potts. <laughs> Here's Pappy Potts for you. Woo! This is oh what? Oh my lord. Issue 13. Issue 13. Now you want to read it? Go ahead. Is that you, Sugar Bumps? Where the hell is she? This place be too spooky for Pappy. <laughs> <laughs> There you go. Oh man! All right. Look at this. Got the pipe and the little uh, little whiskers and uh, little, yeah, it's a little corn pipe. It was hard yeah. to draw a corn pipe. I yeah. ruined it once I colored it in. <laughs> Pappy Potts. One of our viewers and I gave him a feather in his hat. But one one of the viewers was like, "You got to do Pappy Potts." I was like, "Yeah, yeah you're yeah, right." Pappy Potts. No relation to Pepper, or is this Pepper's dad? This is Pe Pepper's dad. Pepper Remember, Pepper's I said dad. they. they <laughs> well, I never did actually. If you saw that video, I was thinking Pappy, and then I. <laughs> You came out and corrected you because I had mental freeze there. Yeah, brain. you were trying to come up with pepper. It's like and I couldn't, I couldn't. It was on the tip of my cranium, and then you said pepper pots. I'm like, oh, that's great because I knew what I was going to say it wasn't right, and you were like, what? And I said, like, Pappy pots. Pappy's from down south. Pappy likes. And then the I shit. said that he's her dad. Yep. <laughs> so here's Pappy pots for you guys. I love the pink shirt too. <laughs> yeah, I colored it. And originally, I, I ran out of green, so I went dark green. So I had to give it some colors, but. Happy Hope you liked all out action issue. There Still you two go. cents. Still two cents, man. What a bargain. All right, guys. That's it. Cool. I'm Wild Bill for this episode of Comic Book Geezer's Comic Book Ads. Hope you liked it. And as always, uh, please click the like button, which you guys are not doing. We're getting two to three hundred views and like fourteen likes. We're still getting those thumbs down, guys, which is fine. That's all part of the algorithm. But yeah. The more you click the like button, the more chances our videos are going to be passed on to other people who are surfing the web looking for comic book videos. So click the like button. Damn it. Okay, damn That's it. Right. it Thank out, you. Yep. <laughs> and click the notification bell. This way you'll be kept in a little bit of time we do a video. As always, thanks for being here. Thank you for your comments, your subscriptions, and all your support. And we'll see you next time. we got a few things cooking. Going to do some favorite Silver Surfer covers, favorite Captain America. we got a Rich Buckler tribute coming up. A couple of things cooking, guys. Favorite uh, Marvel films, that too. And uh, we're going to review the new issue of uh, Calico. Eventually. Yeah. So we got some things on the back burner. Yep. Take care, guys. We'll see you next time. See you soon. Bye-bye. Bye-bye.